Now is the time to honor someone who has been a real gem in the Southwest Florida area. Tonight, we're proud to honor Jason Champion. He's a tireless community leader and founder of Silver Pride. Beyond his corporate role, Jason serves as the president of Project Pride SRQ, an organization dedicated to fostering inclusive communities where everyone is equally united, supported, and celebrated. Under Jason's leadership, Project Pride has reached new heights by creating programs that support the full spectrum of the LGBTQ community. A notable achievement includes the collaboration with the Senior Friendship Center, resulting in the start of the first ever, and ever so proudly, I want to say this without crying, Silver Pride, which we can't wait coming up again this year. Give me chills, Jason. So Jason, we are proud to honor you as a friend of the year for 2024. Come on. Thank you very much. Um, that's a wonderful introduction, uh, way more than what I've ever done. Um, when Declan sent me the email saying, Jason, we've selected you as our friend of the year, I thought to myself, wow, I've never put myself in that category. And then I thought, did he send that to the right Jason? Um, and I replied and I said, Declan, are you sure this is who you're supposed to? And he replied to me and said, we love you. And with that, anytime I get a microphone, everybody knows that I do this. So I want you all to feel the love that I have had since receiving this honor. And on the count of three, I want you all to say love, okay? So one, two, three, love. love. So love is the universal language and it transcends race, creed, color, denomination, orientation, because age, yes. Um, because if we believe in love, we can believe in a better society. Like the spectrum of a rainbow that showcases many colors, our community encompasses a spectrum of age and background. And when we're able to accept that diversity and build bridges, we can open hearts and open minds. One heart, one mind at a time. So together, and only together, will we be able to work toward a better society of creating something that's compassionate, understanding, and loving. And when we do that, diversity is celebrated, love has no boundaries, and our aging community is honored and respected. Thank you to the Senior Friendship Center for this amazing partnership that we have had over this last year. This has been a journey that none of us ever really thought was going to happen. Um, I want to give a shout out to the Project Pride folks that are here with me tonight because it wasn't just me. It was all of them and their efforts and every staff member at Senior Friendship Center that was there that day and like Brittany said, we had it all set. It was beautiful. And then at 11.45 we're like, who's coming? And then all those little buses pulled up and they popped those little walkers out and they snake chained all the way up to the front door. And we couldn't have been more happy. And it was one of the most magical, lovely days where everybody was respected, understood, and loved. So I wanna leave you with the fact that it's one heart, one mind. That's all we can do every day. We try every day to be 1% we're 1% better every day at the end of the year we're 365% better so I will continue to try every day to be better to support this organization our other organizations that are out there but truly lastly he didn't know I was going to do this I want to thank my husband of 21 years Jim that has supported me through adventures like this but Jim has always met me where I dream to be. And I want you all to realize that. Be where you want to be when you dream. And we can build a better and inclusive and more loving society. Thank you. Are the things 
as we've been through Though it's hurting me Now it's history